All right. It is Hello Again Wednesday. This is episode number 98. Episode number 98 called uh, Lost Keys. I'm so glad that you joined me on this Wednesday. Um, it's really close to 4 o'clock, and I was trying to hit the 4 o'clock, but as I was walking into, um, I'm down here in the uh, the uh, Fellowship Hall, the uh where we do uh, the kids zone over there and stuff like that. And uh, it's soon to be Wednesday Bible study. Uh, and as I'm coming into the church to do this segment, I wanted to really hit four o'clock to set you up for making sure you, you kind of look for me at 4 PM um, Pacific time for the 100th episode. But there was a, a lady uh, charging her phone in the parking lot and uh, a homeless and uh uh, I've known her for years, uh, and so I just kind of checking on her son. Her son's actually going to college or going to school down in Long Beach, and so uh, good news, you know, as we uh, pause sometimes to check on people that that surround our community, because I do believe that uh, when you're in, that it is all about how we interact with individuals in the community, and I'm not just talking about uh, as a church; I'm talking about as people. Okay. And so, hey, so I took about five extra minutes or 10 extra minutes to do that. Um, so, but here we are with Hello Again Wednesday, number 98. And so I just want you to know that I appreciate each and every one of you as my special guest, not just only as my special guest, but week after week, be my special guest. As my special guest, I encourage you to leave your comments. If you can, I think I'll say this at the end too. Uh, make your comment on your phone, as in, you know, you know these TikTokers and stuff like that. Just make a little video that you can put into the comments. And so uh, I know that can happen. So uh, we can actually see you talking through your story. That would be great. Because there's always a story with the questions that I ask, okay, every, every week. Thank you for following me on Facebook. Thank you for doing that following thing or whatever it is. So when it goes ding. Hey, Brent Miller, Brent, he's live, you know, or stuff like that, because I know that happens because every Sunday when I hit the live button, uh, my phone dings for, hey, Culver City Church of God is now live. So I know that it can ding for you. So you'll know that I'm on. If you can't ca uh, watch it live, you can always see it on my page uh, or you can also see it on uh, uh, Brent Miller. What's on his mind? That's my YouTube channel, Brent Miller. What's on his mind? Or you can also watch it on Rumble. It is Brent Miller 051. You can see the segments on there also, or you can see it on uh, the church Facebook page that I uh, here at Culver City. It's Culver City Church of God .org. You can see the um, scroll down to the bottom of the page there, and you can see. Uh, the Hello Again Wednesdays episodes that are taking place and just kind of join along in uh, in watching that. I'm trying to see where my, uh, oh, there it is, uh, my scroller. Uh, and so you can watch me and catch up on things there. But it is about, ready, you. It's about you leaving the comments. I always tell a story. I would love to hear your stories. Keep click, keep watching, keep clicking those follow buttons. YouTube is the what subscribe and the uh, uh, notification with the bell. Keep clicking all that stuff and keep taking these videos and sharing them on your page. Go ahead and share them on your pages and uh, allow other people to join in the conversation. That's what it's all about. So with uh, Hello Again Wednesday number 98, that means we're two episodes away from the big, big, big 100th episode. And with the 100th episode, it's going to be one hour long. It will be live with the via the Zoom link. If you look at the last five or six uh, Hello Again Wednesdays, you will see, and I put in the comments, the Zoom link that is for that 100th episode. We're going to try and have as many people as possible on the Zoom, so that's gonna be on Facebook Live. So I know you might be shy. Hey, on Zoom, you can also make it just a, a, a still picture of something. So you don't even have to show your face, but you can come on live for that 100th episode. And it would be great if we had, you know what? I do know that there's more and more clicks to the Hello Again Wednesday on Facebook. And I know that there's a possibility of getting 100 subscribers on YouTube. I'm not asking for a whole bunch. What I want is a community of people 
to be the special guest and join in and answer questions and ask questions and laugh and have fun and see what's happening. October 19th is the 100th episode, 4 p.m. Pacific time. Make sure you ding your schedule up and get that Zoom link that I send out now this week and next week and the weeks of the past. So here we are, question of the day. Have you ever misplaced your keys or anything else of desire, of a, a, a desire importance, and it really wasn't you at all for the first time or multiple times that did the misplacing? Now that sounds a little confusing. So what I'm saying is, uh, you didn't lose the keys; someone else had them. Or you didn't lose whatever was so important. Someone else put it somewhere else. Someone else put it somewhere else. And so it's not you. Have you ever had that happen to you? Where And, 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 and here's, I'm going to get into my story because I lost my key or I lost my, my fob. And if you saw the, the rolling thing uh, as, the, as uh, I was coming on the air, you saw that there was a fob in the sand, like it, you know, someone lost their keys in the beach. There's the fob. Okay. And so with the fob, uh, you know, I, I, I lost my fob <laughs> and, uh, it, and I'm glad I, at that time, I'm glad I lost mine because if I lose Connie's fob, cause we have two for the car. And if I lose Connie's fob key, um, that's even worse. Okay. And then, I, then it hit me like this. Cause and I'm going to tell you what, this is why I call you guys my special guests. I did. I could have Googled it. I could have Googled it and looked it up. But I didn't because I'm relying on you to tell me what it is. What does FOB, F-O-B is in boy, what does FOB mean? I don't even know. And so uh, someone probably told me a long time ago, it has forgotten. What does it mean? And uh, go ahead and put those in the comments immediately. This is what FOB means. If anything, you can answer that question. Otherwise, you, the, it's the beginning of the question is what? Have you ever misplaced your keys or something important and then you realize it wasn't you that this did the misplacing? Ah, oh, that was a loadful, wasn't it? Okay, so I lost my fob. I lost my car keys. I'm looking everywhere. I cannot find them. And I'm getting desperate. I'm going to uh, uh, into the bathroom. I'm going to uh, the laundry basket. I'm looking through all my pockets, even though it would be only in the closest thing, that I, the last thing I wore. I'm looking in my pockets. I'm checking around the laundry. And I'm still not finding my key. And I, 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 the laundry room heads out to the, back, to the backyard. And we got a refrigerator in there and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And so what takes place is uh, you come out of the laundry room and coming into the kitchen, we have a, you know, our garbage can for you know stuff. And so I open the lid and it's full and it's nasty. And I'm wondering, did I have something in my hand that needed to be thrown away? And at the same time, I might've had my key in it. And so I'm gonna have to go through some nasty full trash can stuff to see if uh, I can find my key. And we're kind of sitting at the table <laughs> and some, some some are laughing at me as I'm frantically looking for this key. And then Connie comes out and she goes, uh, hey, Brent. And she she uh, goes, hey, uh, looky here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she had my key in her pocket. And so having her key, my key in her pocket, I'm like, what in the world? Well, this is how it played out. This is the story. I'm telling you the story now. Ready? On Sunday, um, there's a gentleman who had gone through this process, and I sit on a board um, for uh, new pastors uh, being ordained or licensed. And this pastor had gotten ordained, and his pastor had asked if I would come uh, to this celebration, which is a humongous month-long celebration that this church has for this pastor. They are, they're in their 37th celebration year. And at the end, they celebrate new pastors. And so this was one gentleman that had gotten ordained. And so he asked if I would come and, and make the presentation of the ordination certificate. And so I made some phone calls and stuff and, and made arrangements because it was on Sunday uh, during our service time here. 
And so Connie and I went to uh, this church and uh, uh, it is a, a Spanish speaking church. And so uh, uh, there was a, there was a song that had some English in it and there was some, some translation, which was great. But I was uh, joking around with Connie that, you know what, you can actually sing along in worship if you do it like phonically. I can, you know, because of uh, back in the 80s, early, early, early 80s, I had two years of French in high school. And probably the thing that got me by it was phonically looking at words and going, hey, yeah, I can figure this out. And so I was like joking around that you can phonically re uh, read the words up there and uh, sing along, especially when you hear them singing it. So we're at this church. <laughs> Excuse me, but Connie goes, hey, you know, but Brent, there is a, a black bear restaurant near that church. And we discovered the black bear restaurant. It's a restaurant chain. We discovered that one when we took Boomer up to a uh, college up north. And it's like, wow, they had a great breakfast or I had a great breakfast. And, you know, they served breakfast all, all day long. And so it's like, well, yeah, we'll go to that after service if they don't have anything special or anything like that. And so we went to this black bear restaurant. I recommend if anybody wants to know, they are not a sponsor, but I recommend Black Bear Restaurant at least try it out and enjoy some some good food there. And so, um, Connie was a little bit tired, you know. It was a, a kind of a, a long Sunday, and and Connie was kind of getting tired, and she goes, "It was time to pay the check," and she goes, "But I'm just going to go out to the car. Can I have the key?" And I'm like, "Yeah." So she goes out, you know. And so I'm standing, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting to not long, but. I don't want to over exaggerate, but for me, if I stand for just a few minutes, I have forgotten what I'm doing. And so that I had given her my, my car key. And so I go out after paying and I, I get into, uh, uh, the car and start it up. It's push button start. So I start it up and, and, um, uh, head home. And that's when that night or the next day is when I discovered, man, I don't know what I did with my key and see, so I can drive because she has the key, so the car recognizes the key in the car, so I can easily drive, and I didn't need it at all, and then I did, and then I couldn't drive. <laughs> so that's my story of losing the key, and it wasn't really me, it was Connie that had the key. And ready, we're supposed to put uh, the keys in a proper place, or what Connie considers proper place. I'll probably do this a little bit later, but you know, it, it, it did get put back, you know, and that's why I didn't, I didn't find my key. Anyways. Let me ask you this too. Uh, do you have your keys or do you have a wallet even that is on a long chain, you know, that hangs from your belt or your belt loop? You know what I'm talking about? That, you know, especially wallets, you know, people have these, they hook their, this massive chain that hangs down to almost their knee and back up again and that's what holds their wallet or anything like that do any of you guys have a wallet like that that's a question i have um for you to uh chime in on and and see if you have, have one of those or do you know um and and there's uh, let, me, let me see if i get this right okay there's some people from uh that are connected somehow way back to first united church of god it's on Searles Avenue out in uh, Rockford, Illinois. And uh, that's where I grew up and uh, went to church out there. And then after coming back from Belgium and stuff, went back to the church there and stuff. And, and for until, uh, oh my goodness, 98, uh, 1998. And so uh, uh, there was this gentleman and he, he was a good friend there. His name was Jerry Styles. He was a great singer, sound man. I really enjoyed hearing his voice and stuff like that. I uh, loved their family. Connie really loved their family. She babysat for their family and stuff through the years and stuff. And so they were like really, really, in fact, we're still friends with the, the, with the kids and stuff like that uh, who are now adults. But anyways, this guy, Jerry, he had a huge key ring. You know, I can't even remember what his job was. He had this huge key ring of keys. And he had one of those retractable uh, key chains. You know, he had one of those. Do, have any, do, do any of you have one of those besides that long chain? Do you have the retractable chains for your keys? I'm just wondering. The hardest thing. Or the worst thing about losing my keys or anything else that is important or even not so important 
I always think that I put them where they're supposed to be put. Or I think I, that I put them someplace that is a safe place. Someplace I will always know right where to find them whenever I need them. Um, and I need them at my fingertips and I need them in a speedy time frame um, of importance. And I think this is it. And then later I cannot find, it was a perfect stashing place. It was perfect for no one to find it, including myself. That's how good of a stashing place I have. And then maybe years later, I will find, uh, hey, look, this is, I, I think that happened to me with a, a cassette tape. It, it was in my toolbox, toolbox. And years later, it's like I opened, whoa, there's something that is in my uh, toolbox. So please write that story. Let me know what's taking place. Now, it's probably, I thought this was going to be a short one. It's not. You know, uh, I had it to, to, I had a meeting this morning and that ran into the afternoon. And then I took, uh, uh, well, it was supposed to be a couple grandkids, but I took one of the grandkids. We went disc golfing with another friend and his kid. And it was just a great time of hanging out together. And he treated uh, one of the grandkids to, uh, well, it's kind of funny because one, the grandkid has a friend that went with went and then his dad and I'm good friends with his dad. And, um, actually I'll introduce you one day. Cause you know, he, he was in a great band, just phenomenal anyways. And so, uh, uh, his son got a, had a birthday party, we, you know, and they all gathered together and stuff. Well, he got a, a, a ice cream store, this, this is kind of really good, and he got a gift card, and it was burning a hole in his pocket. So after disc golfing, he treated Elijah, his buddy, to some ice cream, and uh, they just uh, had a great time. So I'm sure that you guys have stories such as losing whatever, and I would love to hear your stories. Leave them in the comments. Leave them in the comments on YouTube. Let me read your stories. Let's share those stories and have a good time with it, okay? That reminds me. So click the likes, click the shares. That would be awesome. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you're doing the same thing where you're uh, at least clicking the like buttons. And I think you can share. I know you can share it. You got to click the, the share button and you can still share on YouTube also. And hey, remember, check out the Zoom link. And even if you can't hit the Zoom link, make sure you're back following on Facebook um, for the 100th episode, October 19th, 4 p.m. Pacific time. I want to get as many of you to be live as my special guest, as we're going to have some things happening on that day, maybe even, and not maybe, and some explosions. There's going to be some explosions happening to pyrotechnics. You will love it. I guarantee it. Or at least a dad joke wise, you will guarantee. I just come and watch, just watch. Okay. Now as five, five 30, we'll be here in an hour or so. And so it's drawing near to our Bible study time. Pastor Mark is going to lead us in, uh, I believe scriptures in, uh, continuing in the book of James. And so you can join us for that. I'll put that uh, link in also. And I'll say, this is the Bible study link. This is the, uh, 100th episode link. So you can determine which one you want. You need to, uh, lock on to, to be a part of both those, the uh, zoom, events okay if you cannot make it to our bible study here at cover city that's okay um you know what uh you can try and uh check out uh, not you can try check out a bible believing church near you check out their bible study here's the thing i'm positive i'm positive that someone knew right where the keys were so that they can open and be at the door welcoming you um, as you go to their Bible study. I'm about to go up and unlock our door um, so that the 530 or people can come, the 530 peoples can come down here and we will welcome them to our Bible study down here. Of all the things, I hope you have a great Wednesday uh, and a great a uh, couple of days ahead for you as we, um, and you know what? Hey, here's, here, here's how it goes. As it goes every week, I will see you next Wednesday, which will be the 99th episode. I'll see you next Wednesday on hello again, Wednesday. <laughs>